I'm going to select all of my clips and I'm going to click scan using our preset and then split all. I'm just going to break it all up. Now what we're going to do is some of you will have will be familiar with this feature in a different way. Some of you will never have seen it before. Audition has the ability to define, to set a little flag, a little marker for particular clips of audio to define it as something. And you'll see down here, I've got my essential sound palette up. Again, if you don't see that, go to uh, window and then choose essential sound. And you can see you can assign a tag um, to audio. Dialogue, music, SFX and ambience are the, the presets. Some of you will be familiar with setting some of your dialogue as some of your clips as dialogue in order that an auto ducking feature uh, for music works against that. Uh, so we use dialogue in some of our shows, the dialogue tag, and we use music tag in some of our shows. The other two we never use, uh, SFX and ambience, we've got no use for them except here. So again this is not what this feature is for but you will see at the end why I'm doing this feature because uh, there is another option within Audition to do edit, select, clips of audio type <clears throat> and there you can see you can automatically select all clips in your session that are defined as a particular type of audio. So in this case what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark, see I've, I've run that scan, the uh, Audition has isolated all of what it thinks is silence with those clips still selected, right, without having clicked away on a blank piece of the session, I'm going to click SFX here in uh, in the Essential Sound palette. So now you'll see a little flag appears on those clips. All those clips are now marked as sound effects. They're not sound effects, right? It's really important to say you're not actually going to be doing anything with these as sound effects. It's just a lazy way of being able to identify these clips of silence later so that we can delete them in one fell swoop. So that's done. The next stage though is to right click on any one of those selected clips, not one of the pieces of dialogue, but any one of the selected bits of silence and choose mute. And that will mute those pieces of what uh, Audition thinks are silence. At this point, you're safe to click away because we can then reselect those bits of silence easily by uh, using that edit, select, clips of audio type, sound effects. Now that's the only one that's not greyed out because that's the only one we've used in this, in this session. The only uh, flag for essential sound we've used is sound effects. At this stage, you can go back to a slightly, the way of working on these things that you might be more familiar with, right? So I can solo this track at the top and I can go and check that uh, uh, Audition has selected things properly. Now in some cases, <laughs> there's a laugh and a slurp and some noise, right? We didn't want that. So I can just go in here and tweak that. I'm going to take out the slurp as well and stick a little fade on the end of it. <laughs> Okay, that's grand. And then if I look, for example, I know there's something about here. This here is an indrawn breath. Okay, but we don't want that. That's nonsense. We're going to mark that such that we can delete it later by clicking on that clip and clicking SFX. Now, you'll notice that clip is still active, right? It's not muted like the pieces of silence are. Doesn't matter. You could, if you want to, right click on it and then mute it but it doesn't actually matter because we're going to delete it anyway. So there's one example of that and you would do, do, do your usual thing. You go through you know, track by track and make sure that everything is uh, set up how you want it. Here's another example on the second track at about 18 minutes in. We have an example where Audition has been too aggressive with its cutoff. That's why I say it's not perfect. So here's a laugh and then you've got <laughs> an indrawn breath which is cut off. Okay, so all I can do here is click on that clip, click the end of it and drag it out. Now it's applied crossfades, right? You know how this works. If you overlap two clips, it applies crossfades. But this clip is ultimately going to be deleted, right? This clip of silence is going to be deleted. So all we're doing is going to give that enough space for that uh, outdrawn breath to run. And part of the reason this technique is, is really nice and part of the reason we bother muting those selected silences is so that you can listen and confirm that some things do indeed sound wonky in that case. And yes, we want to correct that by dragging that out. So you go through all your clips one by one, ensure that uh, it hasn't clipped off anything you want to keep by either extending things or by removing the uh, SFX 
flag in Essential Sound and also to make sure it hasn't kept in anything you want to delete by applying the SFX uh, flag in Essential Sound. Again, it doesn't really matter which one you use, Dialogue, Music, SFX or Ambience, it's just so you can select them all together. It's worth standardising on SFX because Dialogue and Music are used on some of our shows. SFX, I can't imagine a scenario in which we're going to be marking those uh, as, as such. And in any case, you will be deleting those clips that are marked as SFX anyway. And so you could then subsequently in your editing, go ahead and apply it to other things if you particularly wanted to. That's it. Now you can go, f imagine I've done all that work. <laughs> I haven't. Imagine I've done all that work. I can now go file, uh, sorry, edit, select, clips of audio type, sound effects, and then delete them as a chunk. At this point, obviously you'd go in and do the rest of your work. You would go in and select clips end of session and then move everything up and tighten up your pauses. You might find that you need to do a little bit of manual tweaking at this point. You know, there might still be things you've not quite got right or you need to, you know, do some little tweaks. But that should save you a bit of time. And time is good. Get your time back. Thanks for watching.